hi welcome back to my channel my name is elizabeth antoinette and today we will be making kamaboko dip it's pretty easy i mean you don't have to cook anything you just go throw it all together and it is delicious mm. so thanks for returning <laughs> like share subscribe um, I hope you enjoy it. So the recipe is actually in the description box below. I'm going to start by getting the mayonnaise out of the fridge. I know we have the biggest mayonnaise. We get it at Costco and yes, we do use it a lot. I love my best foods mayonnaise. I haven't tried any other. We also got some cream cheese from Costco. I'm going to use two eight ounce caps. Okay, let's quickly just open these up. You want to thaw them out to room temperature, leave them on the counter for an hour so they're easy to open up and cut up into chunks. Place them in a bowl because you're going to mix this with your mayonnaise. So you want to try and get it smooth. We all know how cream cheese can be chunky. We don't want chunks. Okay, then we're gonna get our mayonnaise about a cup and a half. We're going to add that to the bowl. We're going to mix it as best as we can, smooth it out, and then we're going to set that aside and start to do our chopping. Okay, this is where I sprinkle in the hondashi and mix it in, and then I'm gonna go and chop everything else. Okay, so I open the wrappers and I rinse and pat dry the kamaboko. Let me warn you, I tried to grate, okay, I grated two of them, but really, just use a chopper. Make your life easier. I ended up adding another kamaboko because when I mixed it in, the two, it didn't bring that color through. I wanted a little bit more pink in there, so I ended up putting in a third one and when I put in the third one I just went straight for the chopper next I'm gonna do the water chestnuts open up the can drain out the juice and measure out a half a cup and chop them away these babies give a very good crunch to the dip but you do want to cut them kind of small but it's nice for the texture change Okay, now it's everybody getting a bowl. All hands on deck. I put in the kamaboko, I put in the water chestnuts. Then I go ahead, I chopped up a third kamaboko and I threw that in there as well. Cause like I said earlier, the coloring wasn't what I wanted it to be. See how light it is? Now we're just gonna have that pink pop. Okay, so when I do these videos, it's a trial and error cause I hardly ever measure when I cook but I want to make sure I can get a recipe for you and put it in the description. So I try to remember everything I've done and I type it out afterwards when I'm posting. It's a process, I'm working on it. Now we're gonna go for the green onions. What I'm doing here is looking for those young, crispy green sprouts. I pick those out, I wash them off, and then I cut off the tippity tops because they're kind of like limp and soft. I want the more firm, crunchy texture. And that spring onion, if you get the light green young sprouts, it has an impact on the dish. This is a thing of beauty. You just chop, you mix, and now you serve. So this dip is usually eaten with Ritz crackers. The butteriness of the cracker goes well with the dip. 
and all the different flavor combinations. Try the recipe out. Let me know how you like it. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching again.